Ladies and gentlemen, students and studentesses, welcome to another one. My name is Tekedi Munyamori. This is another one of the Raiete Education audio tutorial online assignment br 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 breakdowns. And this one, of course, is brought to you by Lechokonolo Ntori. Now, a little disclaimer before we start. The following document is prepared through extensive research and compiled by Lechokonolo Ntori. She is one of the tutors sourced by Raiete Education. She is also a BCom Law graduate. The following document is also meant to facilitate the finding of solutions by you, the student, and does not include the actual solutions or answers themselves. Getting straight into it, ladies and gentlemen, the subject is English 2611. English 2611, assignment number one, study unit one. 1.1, Little Honolo reads, or rather writes, consider the definitions given in Unit 1 of the study guide regarding critical reading. Ah, it's all about critical reading, isn't it? Let's see. Exploring critical reading. Critical reading, what is it? Meant for you to gain academic knowledge. How? Through analyzing and interpreting academic text or literature. Now, literature helps us interpret and gain a better understanding about ourselves and the world around us. 1.2. Consider the way in which the writer was made to feel. Her weight had created a kind of commodity market for people who marked diet products. Also, consider the derogatory attitude behind the idea that attaining a desired body weight equates to happiness. This is also addressed by the writer in the final paragraph. The use of the word fat profits more than thin clients will be important for subjective evaluation later. What I got from it was the notion of the diet industry being based more on profit making than on ensuring that the results that is marketed by the products is actually true. This is to say profit over customer satisfaction. The tone of the author suggests that the person marketing the product to her is very intrusive, that is to say pushy and invasive, because she uses words such as invasion of body fascists. Fascism is this within this context, excuse me, would mean that people who sell dietary products are dedicated to the authoritarian authoritarian, excuse me, view that being lean or thin is the only way to fulfill a rewarding life experience, as opposed to being fat. Adjectives used, such as fat profits, descriptive of the profit motive, or bulky, to take up space or be considered as large. Another, hit and run statistics, an unqualified statistic based on an external valuation. Now, please note that there may be more adjectives within the literature. These are just an elucidation or clarifications for the purpose of the assignment. In your paragraph, consider how these adjectives add to the total references made by the author. 1.3 Within the first three sentences, the writer leads us to focus our attention on two different inventions which have changed the human experience. The first one, the toaster, and the second, television or TV. The writer also informs us that while these two were unprecedented inventions within the human experience, the television surpassed by far that of the toaster because it taps into our awareness in a way in which a toasted bread could never do. I mean, although it is tasty, you know, with some butter. Have you tried it out? It's, it's really nice. In the second paragraph, the writer explores the way in which television has come to substitute the way in which communication takes place, which is also a function of connectedness. The writer also emphasizes that there is communication with the advent of the television, but not as intense as with the human connectedness, as it was when we sat around the house. The writer makes it known that he or she was reluctant to buy a television because they wanted to cultivate a reading culture within their children. 
However, the writer came to realize that he or she could not inevitably protect the children from television and therefore had to adjust to it. Insulate. In this context, the word means to protect against. Essentially, the writer was trying to insulate the children against or, or from the uh, negative aspects that television could carry. But I mean, like the writer says, the kids could go to a friend's place or an aunt's place or even at school where they could be exposed to television. Let's carry on. In the second last paragraph, the writer realizes that the television can be seen as a mode of educating and bringing about different questions while sparking up diverse conversations. Despite the fact that the writer felt that a sense of connectedness was lost sitting around their home, a new sense of connectedness had been established between the children and herself. By stating that there are over 6 million televisions in households, the writer emphasizes the reach of this technology. But it is not a meager piece of technology which is not multidimensional like the toaster. While its main aim is to entertain, it also serves an important informational and or educational function. Here's an example of a summary. The writer is explaining that the television is different to the toaster as an invention because it accesses our awareness in a manner much deeper than just satisfying our hunger. The writer further explains her fear that the television will take away the sense of human connection which was cultivated by generations of humanity. The writer also explains her fear that the television will take away the culture of reading which she seeks to instill within her children. She soon realizes, however, that the television might not be much of a threat because it has brought about more thought-provocative questions and ignited different forms of conversations within her household. Ultimately, the writer acknowledges the television as a tool for entertainment but also a pivotal tool for education. Hmm. Students and studentesses, remember please do not copy and paste the above summary. This is basically an illustration or an example of how you can carry about doing your summary. 1.4. The information on a critical writing is in the tutorial letter, so please critically read that, pun intended, and then formulate a subjective opinion on critical writing. Now, symbiotic, the interaction between two different entities or things. Within this context, there is a symbiotic relationship between reading and writing because reading would inform the processes of writing. Reading gives information about the topic being read and writing elaborates the understanding deduced from it. Ladies and gents, thank you so much for being with us. My name is Tsekedi Munyamori. Remember, raezi.co.za, tell a friend, tell a cousin, even if it's your grandma, if she's doing something at school, we can help her out. Thank you so much. Enjoy your studies and amen. Don't let the lockdown lock you down. Get your learner.